Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And today, Trenton, we have plates on the bar top and not bottles or Glen Cairns. I had come over to ask what we were filming because I, I had no idea. We usually don't plan that far in advance. And uh, I left him up to the, to the content and came down to seven or eight different plates down here with different ingredients on it. So uh, I kind of knew the direction that you were that you were aiming for here. So. Yeah, I think honey, when, it, when when he walked in the door, I think he took like gone to the basement. He took like eight steps, got past that column, and he stopped on a dime. And he said, "I was worried." And he said, "Uh oh, what's I, this?" <laughs> I was worried it was going to be another pie video. No. Not no quite. Pie. No pie. But we do have <laughs> what seven seven plates and dishes yeah. of of different ingredients i'm assuming that you thought we talk about quite often yes here's my mindset here's what i was thinking it's always a, a good thing to keep working at your skills you know tasting whiskeys trying to trying to identify certain tasting notes and things of that nature okay so i thought in my mind what a better way to ingrain it into your mind than to actually taste and smell the notes that we are trying to describe to folks on the camera. Yeah. What do you think about that? Uh, some of these, I'm not even sure how to eat them or how to go about <laughs> smelling them. I, we do have a little dish of sweet tarts here. And I, I have, I, this was like almost full when I got here and it's not anymore. So I hooked them up. I hooked yeah. them up. So real quick, let me just get through it real quick and then we'll start. Over here on this plate, Trenton, I, I put a little, a little array of baking spices. Okay. So that a little clove, because I remember you told me the other day, I don't even know what a clove is. I don't. This okay. is the first time I've ever seen it. Right. So we have we have a clove and some nutmeg and some cinnamon, right? And then we have a, a couple dates for us to try, a couple prunes. In this little bowl, we have some molasses. Now, have you ever tried just molasses? No. I haven't either. Okay. Well, so what is the difference between molasses and syrup then? Because I don't know. Well, it is syrupy, and I know it is, honey, it's it's in baked, different baked goods, right? Like, like right. uh the cookies and yeah, those cookies and ginger type, you know, stuff like that. Cookies, but I've never really tasted never it tasted straight it? up. No, okay. I have not. No, and of course, I hooked you up with the infamous, I've never had these your before, infamous so. now you're known across the country for a sweet tart note in bourbon. So I had to get some sweet tarts because I want to try that and I'm going to try to assimilate how you find any of that in bourbon. I, I want you'll know. find it, you'll find it pretty I want to know. So, in this one here, we got, and I know, I know this is going to be tough for you, and I apologize, but it has to be here, vanilla frosting. Now, you, you can take just a little tip if you want, but that's there. That's disgusting. Over here, I've got some marshmallows and a couple little caramels. I know some people say it should be caramel, but, you know, You're it's, hard, it, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to teach old dog new tricks, right? And I've always said caramels, so. And over here, cream brulee. Never had it. Exactly. This will be fun. So I don't even know if I've ever had creme brulee. Yeah. To be quite honest with you, creme brulee. I'm sorry. She's right. Creme brulee. Ooh. We're not even saying it right. No, we're not. <laughs> so I just thought this would be fun, and, and I honestly think it might be a little helpful in trying to identify tasting notes in bourbon. Yeah. So let's give it a roll. I started out. I left the sweet stuff towards the end over here. I thought that might be a nice progression. So we're going to start out with these baking spices, right? Yeah. So I busted a, a, a piece of cinnamon in half. Now, I would suggest... <laughs> all right, now you're just jumping the gun. Now, now you're going right to clove. Here. Mm. You can't really smell... <laughs> no. You can't really smell the clove on the plate, but you can smell it in there real oh, wow. easy. Man, that's gritty when you bite into it. Yeah, it is. And, and I'm not... I, I, I actually did that before the show started. <laughs> So, what like how do you put this in food? You just like toss in a whole one of these like branches you here, or yeah. you <laughs> grate it? Well, it looks like a branch, like a you, mini one. You can toss it, you know, into into certain sauces, things like that. But also, don't they stick that in ham and stuff like that too? When Bushy makes her ham, yeah, she puts the oh, I've seen all those before. The ham. That's those. Oh, okay, yeah. I didn't know that. That's good to know. So that's a clove. Now, now let's go in order here. Okay, so don't jump the gun. Well, me. this is my furthest to the for the closest to the left, so. <laughs> There's a cinnamon stick, okay? I wouldn't suggest, you can put it in your mouth, but I wouldn't suggest it, but you can definitely get that strong cinnamon type. <laughs> it smells very nice. He doesn't listen to directions very well, does he? I don't. <laughs> That's why I didn't do good in school. <laughs> to to I, me, this is probably one of the more 
obvious ones on a, on yes. a powder or nose because yes. I mean this is this is very strong and yes. I can usually find yes. a pretty strong cinnamon flavor yes. note in something yes. that has it. Yes. So clove was definitely not something that I've smelled or tasted no. before, no. and I, I will say that there are some things that I've picked up a similar kind of yeah. characteristic of that. But sure. Cinnamon. I mean, right. that's just good. I actually have the uh, the actual nutmeg here. Uh huh. And I use this as you've seen me use this on cocktails. I've seen you using cocktails, right? yeah. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna grate a little bit right on this plate so you can stick your finger in that and get you a little taste of it. Okay? And you can get a good smell off that too. You can get a good smell off that and it's freshly grated if you want. Hmm. The smell's really nice. I honestly it, it just kind of tastes like I uh, yeah, it's raw. licked up some dust off the floor. Yeah, it's, it's kind of bitter, actually. I really tried hard, Trenton. It's just super cold right now in our area. Not too many people are working, but I tried very hard to get a pile of sawdust <laughs> and break it down. I here. have some in the garage. <laughs> of all the things, I should I should have told you. I track it all through the house. I really, I really tried. I tried. All right. So that's a little bit of the baking spices, and I'm sure between the nutmeg and the clove, it's a lot different than what you oh, yeah. thought. Yeah. You know, with the baking spice. Yeah. So let's move on. Dates. I'm worried about this. You want to do dates? I'm, uh, I don't know if I've ever had that either, honey. Well, I don't know. Mom used you to do? have like big containers of dates okay. you did. You all the that? time. And I always like, they were always really sticky and I never really, what does that look like inside? That looks Dude. nasty. What is this? Is this like a, what, like what, what, what family is this in? Bro, I don't, I don't know. It's in a date family. What does that mean? <laughs> you ever had a kid that just asked a million questions? Trenton is 26 years old, and he still asks a million questions. I'm not gonna lie, this isn't uh, this, is, this is not my favorite. No, yeah. it's like mushy. <laughs> Man, I probably yeah, won't but, eat that again. I can't say I would either, but you get the flavor a little bit with that date. Yeah, earthy. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Like a dark kind of sweetness. It's like yeah, it's like an earthy sweetness is what I was gonna yeah. say. Yeah. Let's move on to this prune. So do I understand that a prune is a dried plum? It is. Okay. I did not. You told me that yep. the other day, and I, I didn't believe you. That's why I got my, my wife standing right behind the camera, because I, I asked her, too, because I knew we'd have 100 questions. So this, um, Mom also used to have uh, dried apricots all the time. And this kind of, the smell of that mm. reminds me of that. That's delicious. Very fibrous. <laughs> um, you gotta really gnaw at it to get to get to get it moving in your mouth. That's good though. It is good. I I, I eat I eat the rest. Jesus. Yeah. I'm a joke. <laughs> you know what you're talking about, fibrous. What do you mean? You like oh, bite into it and it like I think I got tears in my eyes, honey. Yeah. That, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's fibrous. All right. Whatever you say. I love it though. It, it's good. I like it. I never thought I would. Uh, and, and honestly, I, I didn't know it was a dry plum. You know, and um, yeah, it's very good. You can kind of get that. That it turns that plum into a real nice dark richness. Yeah, really good. Really not sweet. I could really pick that up in a couple different, like in that um, hard truth rye we would like really well. I could definitely pick up. Well, some I could of that see that for sure. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. Really, really good. All right. <clears throat> All right. Now, in this little bowl, we have some molasses. Again, I've never had it. Go ahead. But we got, we got our little plastic spoons back behind the bar. Oh my goodness gracious! Um, what do you want me to take? Like a cough syrup spoonful of that, or what? You get yourself a wad of that and suck on it a little bit. It'd be alright. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <they're laughs> wow. There's like some funky, funkiest funkiness in it that I'm not really digging. Yeah, and, and the sweetness is really nice, but the there's, sweetness the... is good, but it almost turns into like a more of a, a bitterish type note to it, does yeah. it not? Yeah. Huh. That's an interesting flavor. Yeah. Yeah, and I, but you know, with certain bourbon that really delves deep into the brown sugars and the molasses yeah. notes you can tell where that you can kind of you, you can, can tell, tell where, where it's that's going hmm. yeah i mean it's i like it better in like a gingerbread cookie situation but uh, i people aren't i assume like eating spoonfuls of this 
Right. Just for like no. just for some No, and, and we're just tasting it. So when we're yeah. in the future when we're tasting on some bourbons and you know, my click in your head. That's right. I could I can see some different that's characters. similar to what we had. Yeah. Right? I can I can definitely see that for sure. All right, now this, this is when this is where you shine. Okay, because I to this day have never really caught on to your sweet tart snow. What? Even after so, the last video, you still haven't. No. No. Wow. So I'm gonna take a couple of these. Now they're just they're just the uh, you know the, the, chew, the chewable, chewable things stuff there. No, I'm not well, doing a couple of them. You gotta you gotta enjoy each individual flavor. You can't be mixing here. <laughs> I apologize. I screwed up the art of. Did I not shoot you out of your candy? Come on. You did not. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm not like them. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Have you ever gotten a note similar to like this the the sweetness at the tail end in it? I'm not saying you're gonna get like a grape sweet tart. I like overall the sweetness of a sweet tart kind of reminds me of okay. products like a regular Buffalo Trace or like. So did you have Buffalo Trace back here? Yeah. Okay. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Good on you, buddy. There's, I, I mean, there, it's not identical, but to mm -hmm. me, there's some similar characteristics, and that's how I relate that well, flavor the best. I can kind of see now you're at the first bite of these sweet tarts, right? I can, you get that burst of candy yeah. and sugar, but like you say, in the tail end, <clears throat> I can understand it a little bit better on okay. the tail end of when you eat it there. So that is helpful for me. All right. So at least get in your head and get an idea of what you're talking about. So now it's time for you to get in my head a little bit. <laughs> And see what I'm talking about because this little bowl has vanilla icing. I was hoping this was going to be like a vanilla sorbet of sorts, <laughs> no. but, but as I was looking at it not melting no. for 10 minutes, I got concerned. I want to see you go ahead and take a nice, nice, healthy. It's why is it hard at the top? Come on, look at that, honey. You know, that's just wrong. Here's how you do it like that. No, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> it's nasty. <laughs> oh, that's so good. You're gonna, you're gonna have to, to point <laughs> me in the right direction with this one. <laughs> I might be missing the mark. Woo! Oh, that's so good. I can't lie. I had two spoonful of that as I was positioning <laughs> it in the bowl. I, I did. It's really good. You know where I get this out of? What, what was? And I forget this stuff all the time, but last year's 2022 Maker's Mark special releases. What are the what are the letters on those? Uh, FRT01 and 02. Yeah. I believe it's the O1. I get vanilla frosting on that right I'll at the beginning to, at the beginning of the palette. I'll have to revisit that. Yeah, I could see it's like a mm -hmm. really it's like a sharp sweetness. Yes, and it carries a little vanilla. Yes, so I could see. Yes, I could see that being present in a couple yeah. different things that I've tried. Yeah, sure. All right, let's move down the line, buddy. There's, the one here is just your, your normal stuff. The caramel that we talk about, you don't even have to bite into that if you don't want to. Um, it's probably... It's probably <laughs> I'm gonna, That's a hard caramel, buddy. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. You might bust a tooth on that one. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> this is... I'm going to have to spit this out. <laughs> you got a napkin? <laughs> I'm struggling. You weren't kidding when you told me not to bite into that whole thing. I tried to tell you. Again, you ever had kids that just don't listen? You ever had that? I tried to say it. But can't feel sorry for them. Did you even try that? Yeah. It's almost a, like you left that I, outside. I, I, did a, I did a little bit of your bite. A little rabbit. A little, <laughs> a little, little rabbit. A little tiny rabbit bite off the end of that corner. Typical stuff, though. Caramel, you know. You, you, you get that in a lot of different types of bourbons. So, in my opinion. I almost feel like, though, that's... To me, that's a little sweeter than the, the sure. flavors that I get. Sure. Usually. Yeah. Uh, so maybe like a darker caramel. I don't know if when you cook that down, it, it gets rid of some of that sure. sweetness or what. Sure. But well, that's a it candy also depends caramel. on the on the type of caramel, right? Yeah. That's a candy caramel. So yeah, I Good can understand where it comes yeah. from. A couple marshmallows, dude. We always find marshmallows here and there, right? The uh, the Michter's toasted rye, if I recall, has a marshmallowy kind of note to it. Yes, it like does. Like a what do you call it? Like a Lucky Charm marshmallow mm. or something? No, no, but it's still it's 
It's a marshmallow for sure. I have Lucky Charm marshmallows up there. No, oh, not a big fan. Right. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you, though. I appreciate it. That was from Bushi. Of oh. course it was. <laughs> Last but not least, right? This will this will be interesting. What is what is what does this contain? Does anybody know? You don't know. You don't know. Right. No clue. All right. This Creme be... brulee. I don't know if I've ever had one either. I've always seen. I, I don't know if I have. I don't what? remember if I did. I've always seen people take those like butane uh, torches yeah. and scorch the yeah. top to to yeah. caramelize the I sugar. Think I think your mom made these from scratch. It looks. And it she looks... took the torch out and, and torched the top. Wow. Good job. Good job, honey. Thanks. Great. Great. <laughs> Is it like shattery at the top? What's the deal? It's caramelized brown sugar. What's the, the filling? Just eat it. It's cold. Oh, wow. Hmm. Wow, that's pretty good. Hmm. I could see it being a little better if it was uh, warm. That's but, right. Oh. Huh. Hmm. I like it. Honey. I'm pleasantly surprised. All right, now, with the creme brulee, this is what's really interesting because I get this a lot then because so do I yeah because you have the custard type taste to it you have a little bit of the of the uh, caramelized sugars on yeah. the top not brown sugars but the caramelized sugars on the top and also more of a baked type of vanilla note yeah like you said which I agree this is your sharp you know sharp sweet yeah vanilla where this over here is more of a baked Vanilla with the with the caramel sugars and everything on top too, the custardy type yeah taste to it. I'd have to revisit some of the ones that I get some similar notes on because I probably yeah. wouldn't have put my finger on it exactly as as a creme brulee, creme, creme brulee kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I I will agree I I probably should have identified that as creme brulee instead of some things that I've tried yeah. before. But it's good yeah. to know yes. to try a couple yeah. things. Hey, this is rudimentary, all right? This is this is basic, this is raw right here, what we're doing. But I guess the point I'm trying to make with Trenton here is that if you want to get better at identifying certain flavors in bourbons, it sure doesn't hurt actually trying the raw in ingredients that assimilate those flavors. Yeah, You know, that way your mind is on it. There's a few here I've never had before. I'm a little bit more familiar with these baking spices than you, but that was yeah. new to you. The date I've never had before. I didn't even know that was a dried plum with the prunes. I've never had raw molasses before like that. That, that was interesting. That was very good. And, and and you did a pretty good job trying to teach me about sweet tarts. I mean, it's it's a note. <laughs> it is. And it's good. Yes, it is. So go, go to your store, buy some, try some, put it up next to Buffalo Trace. Tell yeah. me I'm wrong. Honestly, just try a few things. It, it, it'll, it'll help you. It'll help you along the road. All right, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for, uh, you know, bearing with us. Sometimes we just got to do videos that are just downright fun. That's all. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. We'll see you next time right down here with Trent and I in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later. <laughs>